in the end, we have a choice to run away from or towards ourselves. If we run away, no one will follow and excoriate our cowardice. No one will trip us on the sand and circle to jeer at our frailty. No one will judge us if we choose to keep running. We simply will be allowed to run because there's nothing that doesn't allow it. And we will be allowed to run until we forget to remember ourselves and nothing runs into itself again. If we choose to run towards ourselves, we will first feel an incredible pain that warns us not to run this way. The first time we feel it, we will obey this pain. If we keep choosing to run towards ourselves, then we will feel an even more horrible pain, and after that something much worse than pain or dying or being alone forever something worse than simply being allowed to run out. And past that pain, there are no guarantees. But there is something past that pain, if only because we have put it there by running. No matter our choice, there is no judgment. Only the running and the results of running it would be good if we knew at any given time which of these ways we are running. Sometimes we know all too well. We try to hide the horizon from ourselves. We fail. Sometimes we change directions simply because we are mad or not mad enough. None of us know which of these ways anyone else is running. Someone who seems to be running away may be actually running towards a guaranteed terrible pain for a possible reward. None of us know until the end. And there is no end. So none of us know. In the beginning, we have a choice to run away from or towards ourselves. And either way we run, no one can follow.